Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Good evening, Fisher. Good evening. Let me tell you that today I'm going to be with camera in move off because I don't have electricity right now. The electricity was gone. <laughs> so I need to be here because I'm with datos, right? <laughs> so I need to say that that data, right? So we have to be in this mode. I'm sorry, but I have to <laughs> because the situation, right? Okay. So now we're going to start with the class, guys. But first of all, we'd like to pass the link. How many of you are here right now? Let me let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, guys. Okay. So we are going to wait three minutes more for the others can connect it. And then we're going to start with the list attendant. Okay. For a while, I'm going to open the platform and I'm going to stay or I'm going to place where we were working yesterday, okay? Vamos a ver, let's see. We were on page, let me see. No me quiere cargar, 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 cargar. No quiere cargar el manual, chicos. I have some problems with the internet connection. Vamos a ver dónde estamos. Ok. But we can make a short review for a while, right? About what we were discussing yesterday. Remember that yesterday we were talking about what? We were talking about what, guys? Um, the freq frequency adverse teacher. Excellent. Así es, the frequency adverse. Uh -huh. And what we were, some examples that we were discussing. A ver, a ver, ¿qué me dice? For example, how often do the, the exercise? Uh -huh. uh, how often do San Salvador uh, retain the shift? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> eight eight times a month. Okay, eight times times a month. Muy bien. Excellent. What else? ¿Qué más, chicos? Vamos a ver. Permítame solo. Quiero compartir. <clears throat> Somebody else that wants to make a comment about what we were discussing yesterday. <laughs> uh -huh, we were talking about that and also pensé que se me cerró eso por estar abriendo la lista just give me some minutes uh -huh. Niños, what happened? Tell me something, please. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday is in practice with the frequency adverbs in relation with uh, things we do in our works. Uh -huh. We did um, your workplace. Muy bien, excelente. Somebody else? Um, sorry, coach. Uh -huh. I'm going to listen to the class because I'm on the way at home. 
So you are on, on your way home. Okay, perfect. Just let me know when you are right home, please. Okay, coach. Thank you. You're welcome. And be careful in the way. Okay. But okay, vamos. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Este, vamos, niños. Yema, somebody else. They can tell us something. Maybe a comment, maybe a rule, something else that you remember that about that. Vaya, en lo que estamos pensando, vamos a pasar la lista, okay? Perfect. Okay, let's start. Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar. Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. Present. Excellent. Ana Victoria Galán Cantón. Brandon Alexis Velázquez Ayala, Cristina Beatriz Rivera de Caravantes, Daniel Ernesto Abrego Brizuela, Denise Alejandra Zúnica Aldana, Diana okay. Yamilet, ok, excelente Denise, Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas, Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón, Freddy Ricardo, Fred Ricardo Landa Verde. Jorge Alberto Laínez Díaz. Present teacher. Excellent. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, Luis Eduardo Reyes. María José Escobar Portillo. Present. Excellent. María Celina Aguilar Ramos. Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla. Present teacher. Excellent, Michael. Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Present coach. Excellent, thank you. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Present teacher. Thank you, Nancy. O'Kelly de Jesús Hermética Carranza. Y Verónica Lisset Portillo de Castro. I'm present teacher. Thank you, Veronica. So this is the first time that we pass the list. We hope the others can connect it as the past time during the class, right? Okay, so we were talking about adverbs and we were saying that adverbs we can find in after the verb to be and also we can find in before what? The main verb and after the subject, right? Those are the places that we can find it. And, but there are some ex exceptions with some adverb frequency that is generally, sometimes, eh, occasionally, and those kind of things that we can eh, place it at the beginning of a sentence, but some few of them, some pocos de ellos, pero no todos. Pero sí hay algunas excepciones que se van aprendiendo mediante el tiempo va pasando. Y vamos escurriñando un poco más acerca del inglés, porque el idioma. Ok, perfecto, chicos. Vamos entonces al manual, chicos. Let me see. Voy a tratar de compartir otra vez, chicos, porque este manual se me está dando problemas. Se me está cargando ahorita. Bueno, vamos a ver. Hoy oh, sí. Acá estamos. Hoy oh, sí. I'm going to share the screen, guys, and we are going to start with the class, ok? Let's see. Vamos. So today we are going to continue with the manual. And you remember that yesterday we were talking about this graph, right? In which you explain uh, in which activities are changes to call the, the attention of the clients, right? And how many times they do that, right? And you say once a week or two times a week or maybe four times a month, et cetera, et cetera, right? Here is about per month. And we were saying that it's in each department. That is, for example, we have San Salvador, La Paz, La Unión, Usurután, right? How many uh, times they change the menu? Uh, you were saying they change the menu 12 times a month, right? Uh, how many times La Paz uh, rotate shift? Right? <clears throat> How many times? Let's see. Like eight, 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 eight times, eight. right? Eight. Okay. Yes. And how many times La Union uh, present a new de desert? 
six time. Four. Six time, right? Okay, muy bien. En un solo time, how often they eh, present promotional items in un solo time? And how many times they do that? Twelve times in a month. Mm -hmm. They do it twelve times a month. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Vamos, chicos. Sí, vamos. Let's continue, right? So we're going to talk about a stuff and schedule. Have you ever done an schedule or have you ever had an schedule of some activities that you would like to do or you plan to do during the week or maybe during the day? Have you ever, guys? Yes, I have in my university class. Uh -huh. I have okay. a schedule. Okay, so you had a schedule in the university class, right? Okay, and what times do you have classes? What do you have I, usually, I usually begin my classes at 7 o'clock. Uh -huh. I usually start my classes at 7 o'clock. Muy bien, excelente. But the Final class is at 11 o'clock. And we have, uh, okay, you have your final class at 11, 11 o'clock? Yes. Okay, perfect. So in the morning? In the morning. Ah, then okay. I start my work at 1.30 p.m. Ah, so, so you have a, a afternoon shift, right? Yes. Okay, perfect, excellent. Muy bien, excelente, María José. Thank you so much. Somebody else that wants to share his or her uh, schedule? <coughs> Guys. Teacher, I have a question. Huh? What, what's the difference when we say I begin and I start? Ok, a estar es comenzar, ¿verdad? Pero este es como más que todo para comenzar de un, de un periodo de tiempo, de una actividad que tú haces en cierto tiempo. Y ahí begin es como el comienzo de algo, de un suceso, de... Like cuando... a career, ajá, como una ajá, competencia, por ejemplo. Ajá, ah, o okay. como cuando tú cuentas algo más como de historia. Mm, thank you. It is used for that, for that things, right? Ok, perfecto. So... Let's see. Somebody else that wants to share her or his opinion or his her, her or his schedule. No. Okay, perfect. So let's continue. It says what the estimated time an employee works a day in your workplace. Does everybody have a specific schedule to follow? Sí, verdad. Does everybody have a specific schedule to follow in your workplace? Yes or no? Yes, miss. Yes, right? Because all of you, maybe when you are working at a company, at a company, right? You tend you tend to start your your schedule at seven o'clock, right? Or maybe you usually start at seven o'clock and you finish at four o'clock. Maybe if you are going to work the whole day, right? You are going to finish at four o'clock, right? So almost everybody follow that schedule in some some places, right? Okay. So and what is estimate time and employees work a day in your workplace? ¿Cuánto es el tiempo que ellos este trabajan en, en tu lugar de trabajo? Five hours, eight hours, seven hours. Eight hours. Eight hours. Eight hours, right? So, so that's the estimated time an employee's work there, right? Okay, let's see with the other question, right? Vamos a ver. How in a specific dog? Ah, eso ya lo hicimos, right? Okay, perfecto. Entonces, vamos a seguir a la siguiente. Dice, 
Listen to your teacher read the conversation, then practice with a partner. He said, who, who wants to help me, please? ¿Quién me quiere ayudar? Yo sé que la no, teacher no, tiene no, que no, leerlo, right? No, but no, I would no, like no, you no, to no, read no, it no. in order you can practice. Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, okay. Hey, Matthew. How's, how is going? Uh -huh. Very good, Ben. Eh, todo, ¿verdad, teacher? Sí. sí. I can, I can help you too. Okay, perfect. Sure. Go ahead. Sure. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, okay. Hey, Matthew. How is this going? Very good, Ben. I am really glad that everybody is here today because it's the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, uh, who has the early and late street for this coming weekend? See. Sí. Continue. According. Pero ese according creo que es de Ben. Ajá, Ben lo dice. Okay, according to the schedule, Mark. And Sophie have the morning and an afternoon shift. And Tom and Kate have uh, the evening, evening shift. Okay, perfect. The evening, right? Evening. Okay, thank you so much. Yes. Tell me. How, how do you pronounce schedule? Schedule. Es como que tú digas Sketchal con A. Sketchal. 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 Sí. Con L al final. Uh -huh. My Sketchal. My Sketchal, right? Pero trate de, de hacer un poquito el sonido ¿verdad? de la. Ajá. Trate de hacer como un sonido con la garganta. Sketchal. So, siempre tienes sketchal. que. Oh, ok. Sketchal. 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 Excelente. Okay. ok. Thank you so much. Y, y, where, where, where is the meaning of shift? Shift. Shift, shift es como horario siempre o turno. Shift. Ajá, es turno. Por ejemplo, en la, y ese, de la tarde. Es, ese, es, ese es el mismo shift que vemos en el teclado. Pues es, para se poner las mayúsculas. Se supone, se supone, pero como acuérdate que tiene significado cambiante según el contexto que estés hablando. Si estás hablando de teclado, pero, pero, pues <ríe> significa otra cosa. Pero si estamos Ajá. hablando de la de los horarios, pues tú vas a deducir que eso significa turno. Turno. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank ok. You. Perfect. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más si quiere leer la lectura, chicos, para practicar? In order to practice. Ok, perfect. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más que acompañe? Hi, teacher. Ok, perfect, Credis. Go ahead. I'm there. Uh, yes. Ok. Okay. Hey, Matthew, how is it going? Very good, Ben. I am really that everybody is here today because of the traffic you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for this coming <clears throat> weekend according to the schedule mark? And Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift at home, and Kate have the evening shift. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Vamos a have, uh -huh. have a question. Tell me. What is pronunciation about according? Which one? According. According. Uh -huh. Yes, according the schedule. According. According. Uh -huh. According. Okay. According to schedule, Mark schedule. and Mark. Sophie have a the morning in the afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Somebody else have more questions? <clears throat> okay, perfect. So let's work in pairs, guys. They say, look at the schedule, the restaurant, and answer the question, the following questions. Who managed the restaurant here, right? So take a look at this schedule, right? 
Vamos a ver. Dice Cashier Kimberly Thompson. Es en la primera once, en la once de primera, dos, tres, cuatro, right? Mm. Ahora vamos con Cynthia Lily y Kerry Dulce. Es Karen Williams, right? En la primera pair, I want to write something like this. Ajá. Ahora bien, vamos con lo siguiente. Es el manager. Who is the manager? Jennifer Rodríguez. Jennifer, ok. Jennifer Rodríguez, muy bien. En Who Cooks. Who Cooks. Mm -hmm. Kevin Dooley. Ajá. Karen. Martin. Karen Dooley. Linda oh, no, Harris. Harris, right? Lo único que Harris. ellos cambian, ¿verdad? Cambian el, el, el turno, ¿verdad? Muy bien, excelente. Vaya, esas son esas dos preguntas en Ian Nahuatl del sketch que tenemos acá, ¿verdad? Que sería Nahuatl. Per hour, right? So, let's see. The stop and schedule, guys. Read the schedule again and answer the questions below. Who is in charge of the waiting tables in the morning shift? Who's in charge of the waiting tables in the morning shift? Vamos a ver, let's see. Mm. Uh -huh. okay. Who is in charge? Cuando dice, les dice in charge, encargado de, right? Who is in charge of the table, waiting tables in the morning shift? Digamos, la parte de acá es en la mañana, sería, right? La, la mitad. Wal Walter. Okay, Walter. Uh -huh. Matthew. And Matthew, right? Matthew. Okay, Matthew. excellent. Number two, who is in charge of the managing in the restaurant or the restaurant, right? Jennifer Rodriguez. Jennifer Rodriguez, muy bien. Number three, who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? Let's see. Kevin Dooley, Karen Dooley. Uh -huh. Kevin Dooley and Karen. Julie, right? Okay, perfect. So let's see number four. Who is in, who is in charge of taking orders during the morning shift? Let's see. Kevin Dooley. Kevin Jorge and Carlos. Exactly. George and Charlie, right? Muy bien, oh. excelente. Excelente. Vamos a ver con la última. Dice, what does Matthew do? ¿Qué hace Matthew? What does Matthew do? Winter. Winter. Uh -huh. He's a waiter and he's in charge of, repeat, he's in charge of what? He's in charge of. Taking orders, right? Él está encargado de tomar las órdenes, ¿verdad? Como es el waiter, so he takes the orders, right? Or the orders, right? So he is in charge of taking orders. Muy bien. Excellent. Now, it is, is a practice for you guys. Write five questions in your own and ask them to the classmate. In this case, we are going to work in pairs, right? And we are going to write five questions in your own, okay, by your own. And you are going to ask to a classmate, for example, who is in charge of ta 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 ta? Who is in charge of ta 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 ta? Según el horario que tenemos acá. Okay, según el schedule. Usted le va a hacer preguntas. Who is in charge of the kitchen in the afternoon? Who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning? Or who is in charge of taking orders in the afternoon shift? Y así sucesivamente. Vamos a variar, ¿verdad? Puede ser pregunta de la mañana o pregunta de la tarde. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear what you're going to do? Yes, right? Easy. No, it's, <laughs> no, it's in charge. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> ok, vamos a ver. Let's see. We are going to make groups. Oh, we are going to make pairs in this case, right? How many of you are here right now? Okay, so you are, so you are 17 in this case. With me, we are 18. 
So we are going to make, let's see, eight, eight groups of sense. Yes, eight groups. If you are alone, please let me know because I'm going to change you. Okay? Algunos van a quedar de tres, pero así voy a ir moviendo. Go ahead. Vamos, chicos. Just take a picture about what you are going to do right now. Take a picture about the schedule first, and then you are going to take a pictures about the uh, activity that we are going to develop right now. That is activity five, right?
Hello, chicos. How was your work? Did you practice? Did you make the sentences? No, teacher. No. We are we are working on the sentences. Ah, the okay. questions. Okay, yes. perfect. Bye. Entonces, uh, we, 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 ¿Tienen alguna preguntita? Yeah. Uh, son, tenemos que formular cinco y cinco, ¿verdad? Sí, serían cinco suyas y cinco de su compañero Michael. Basadas en el, Ajá. el sketch. -o. En el sketch -o que usted ve allá, así como estas. Muy bien. Pueden tomar este formato, sí. ¿verdad? Ok, perfecto. Vale, lo voy a dejar de hecho. Voy a ir a chequear al otro grupo. Bueno, ok. Ok, thank you. Bye. Hello guys, how was your work? Hello. Hello? How's your work? Hello. Sorry? How is your trabajo? How is your work? Your work? Your job? Um, Are you para que esas preguntas la, la vamos a hacer teacher a, a, a la clase. Vaya, aquí, o sea, van a hacer cada uno, van a hacer cinco preguntas, ¿verdad? Relacionadas con el schedule que tenemos ahí arriba, tomando en cuenta este formato. Uh -huh. Ajá, y luego se van a preguntar en parejas. Digamos, uh -huh. usted le pregunta a Diana y Diana, le, o Brandon le puede preguntar a Denise y Jorge le puede preguntar a usted y así van a ir cambiando. Si usted le pregunta a Jorge y así sucesivamente. Yeah, yeah. Ok. Y solo era la, solo es la cinco, ¿verdad, teacher? Sí, solo son cinco. Cinco preguntitas, cada uno. El ejercicio número cinco, ¿verdad? Sí, de esta que se ve en la Vale. Y, y lo van a hacer ah, referente okay. a esta. Ok, okay perfecto. Mm -hmm. Excelente. Vaya, vale, los voy a dejar. ¿A, voy a, ir... ¿A, cuál, es, a cuál es que yo el del ejercicio, teacher? Sí, el sketch. Por ejemplo, usted va a decir, how, how or who is, who is in charge of waiting tables? In the afternoon, solo cambiándole a lo, lo último, digamos, ¿verdad? Ah, yeah, who yeah. is in charge of the restaurant in the morning? Or who mm -hmm. is in charge of the kitchen in the afternoon shift? Y así sucesivamente, right? Lo único que cada uno va a preguntar, pues, y van a responder ustedes para que puedan practicar. Okay. Okay, okay. perfect. Bueno, entonces, you. okay, you're welcome. Lo voy a dejar, voy a chequear el otro grupo, a ver si tienen preguntas. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, how are you? ¿Cómo está su trabajo, chicos? Hello, teacher. All oh, is very good. Okay, perfect. Did you practice? Yes. Yes, good. we practice. So, could you tell me some some examples, please? Of course. Um, Freddie, could you tell me what does um Teren Dooley do? What? What does Karen Dooley do? Yeah. Uh, what does Karen Dooley do? The order taker. Karen Dooley. Okay. Excuse me. 
the current duly do is cooking in the morning? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Um. Uh -huh. Okay, chicos. Uh, let me tell you that you are going to just reply these questions, right? The, the things that you are going to change, it was the last part. For example, you're going to say, who is in charge of the waiting tables in the afternoon shift? Or in the night shift? You can say that, right? Or maybe you're going to okay. say, who is in charge of the managing uh, the managing the restaurant? Who is in charge of managing the restaurant? In the morning or in the afternoon, right? So you're going to specify a period of time that is different from the ones that these sentences already have, okay? For example, uh, number three, who is in charge of the kitchen in the in the night shift or in the afternoon shift or in the evening shift. If you want to use evening, it's okay also, right? So Fred is going to make five sentences like this, right? And you are going to make five sentences like this too. The points that you have to ask Freddy's and Freddy is going to ask to you and you are going to answer según el sketch que tienen acá. Okay. Okay. Okay, perfect. So if you want, you can practice and you can make the questions. For a while, I'm going to check the other groups. Okay. That's okay. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So if you need some help, if you need something, uh, please just write to him and I come back. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Pero no es tanto. Hello, hello girls. Is your job? Hi. ¿Cómo estamos con el trabajo, chicos? I'm chicas. Fine. Did you practice? Yes, teacher. So could you give me some examples, please? Yeah. Uh, one example is who is the charge of opening your business? Uh -huh. uh, and answer two. And Nancy uh, said? La respuesta. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, the person is charged of opening the company is mm -hmm. Nancy Leo. Uh -huh. uh, from 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, who is charge of making the Porsches or oh, oh, the chopping? Uh huh. Okay, uh, the charge of chopping is Marcos from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay, perfect, excellent. One more, Una más. Una más. Okay. Uh, for example, um, who is in the charge of making reports? Who is in charge of the report? Mm -hmm. Of people. making? Of making the, re the people report, right? Uh -huh. That sería the, the people report. Uh -huh. Porque como estamos, people sería... El reporte de las personas, de los empleados, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. oh. Or employees reports, maybe you can use that also. You can use it as an adjective. Uh -huh. Employees report. Uh -huh. Okay. So sería, who is in charge of making employees report? Uh -huh. Sería... Uh, the, the person is charge of making person or 
employee per uh, reports is uh -huh. uh -huh. ah sí is um, Karen okay perfect so personal también es 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 válido personal como uh -huh. varias personas okay perfecto okay chicas la perfecto muy bien hecho verdad Voy a ir a chequear los últimos grupos y luego pues salimos a la general, ¿ok? Para mientras, practice in English, right? What do you want to talk? Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, hello, guys. You're already get out from the salas, right? So let's continue. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Okay, so what we're going to do now, guys, after you talk about the activities, right, or talk about the five questions on your own, right, and ask them to a classmate you interact with your classmate asking the same questions that you have here but you change something right about the schedule that we have there what we are going to do now now it's your turn you're going to prepare a mini presentation about the schedule activities four or five employees do at your workplace create a timetable similar to the one in part three page 23 Quiere decir que nosotros vamos a crear una tabla en donde expresemos quién está encargado de ciertas actividades, pero referidas a su trabajo. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, el trabajo de Maritza es diferente from de Rachel, igual el de George, Ernesto, y así sucesivamente, ¿verdad? Igual el de Morelia, y así sucesivamente. Van a cambiar. Ustedes van a especificar qué actividades, de qué actividad, actividades son los encargados, eh, de, son los encargados, en este caso, sus compañeros, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que hacen, verdad? ¿Y en qué tiempo lo hacen? Si es en la mañana, o si es en la tarde, o si es todo el día, right Y lo podemos tomar como ejemplo, esta parte de acá. So you're going to take as an example this time, time table in which you are going to modify it and you are going to explain what are the activities that your partners do in which time and what they what do they do okay in that word okay it's clear what you are going to do yes miss yes okay teacher. perfect go ahead vamos chicas you have a, in this case you will need more time right so you, you have 15 minutes to do that No los dejan pareja, chicos, porque como cada uno tiene un, eh, un trabajo diferente, ¿verdad? Entonces serían diferentes actividades de sus compañeros. Entonces, por eso lo vamos a hacer individually. Okay, so we are going to do it individually. It's okay, teacher. Okay, perfect. Go ahead.
if you have any question guys please tell me or raise your hand please you sure i have question yes tell me Veronica. in my case um i can read the receptionist it's all day reception so you can say I, I... all day or the whole day okay. right okay okay mm -hmm. thank you you're welcome Teacher, I have a question too. Yes, tell me, Maria has said. In a structure of a sentence, uh -huh. uh, for example, if I say Veronica is in church of, uh -huh. the verb always is in German, um, cleaning or clean. Uh -huh. This is charge of the cleaning, la limpieza. Si es mm -hmm. un nombre en general, es ing form. Okay, thank you. Okay, perfect. Teacher, tell me, please. Hola. Tell me. Okay. Yes, tell me. Uh, it is necessary use the name the other partners. Oh, no, or you. No, you can you can invent. Right. You can make up. So cargo lo podemos poner. No. ¿Cómo? Como que puesto tiene. Ajá. Sí, así como lo estábamos viendo. Who is in charge of the... No, van a ser el mismo formato que aquí. Uh -huh. bueno, digamos, este... Maritza is in charge of the... What? The cleaning in the morning shift. Maybe, right? We are, we are going to suppose that. O Roxana is in charge of the cleaning in the afternoon shift. You can say that, right? Oh, right. Uh -huh. okay. Which is the actions that they made, or what is the task that task that they made, or they do right in your workplace? And you can invent another name. It's not necessary that you write the the real name. Um, okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.
teacher. Tell me. I'm finished, but oh. I don't know if not my knob is good or not. I don't know. So you send me the sketch, all right? Okay. Uh, reading. Uh huh. Okay. At seven a.m. Uh -huh. when I go to work, check the computer what they have sent me, and Luis and Pablo. So okay. I can start my work, and then when I have finished preparing the work, he took it to another area to execute. Hugo and Abel, uh -huh. and the next day, Alberto gives me the production that was left to finish. Okay, entonces ahora usted tiene que generalizar. Vaya, ahí dice la actividad que hacen y lo que le, los reportes que pasan hacia usted, ¿verdad? Como el step by step, como el paso a paso. Pero ahora lo vamos a, a generalizar. Por ejemplo, Luis is in charge of write the reports in the morning or in the at work. Pongámoslo, si, si trabaja todo el día, entonces usted le pone nada más at work. ¿Pero de qué está encargado él, en general, de recibir, Ay, de recibir los emails? Es un área de 24 por 7. Ah. No Ahí no hay descanso. Ok. O sea, yo termino mi turno, le dejo al otro y este al otro, y así seguimos una rutina por todo el año y hasta que sigue siempre. Ah, ok. Pero es por turnos de, de mañana, tarde, noche o de sí. semanas. 24, 7, 7 días a la semana. Mm. Todo el día trabaja, entonces. Ajá, yo entrego turno y va otro y así. Hasta que regresa a mis manos nuevamente lo que dejé y vuelve la rutina otra vez. Ok, pero este, pero ¿a qué hora se usted entrega el turno? Es mi pregunta, ¿verdad? Right? A las 5, a las 4 y 45. ¿De la mañana o de la tarde? De la tarde. Ok, entonces quiere decir que usted, pues, <coughs> digamos, trabaja todo el día. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces, ¿usted de qué está encargado, este Michael? Mm, a ver. Es producción acerca de tejidos. Entonces, usted puede decir, I'm in charge of production, right? In, uh, during the whole day, you can say that, durante todo el día, right? Yeah. Or, este, 24, 7 days a week, right? Digamos, 24 hours, 7 days a week. Puede ser 24, 7. También, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Pero tiene que generalizar, por ejemplo, de que está encargado, ah, yo estoy encargado de la producción, mi compañero está encargado, mi compañero Luis está encargado oh, de... Okay. Este, editar reports y así sucesivamente. Ok. Ok, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. I finished the teacher. Hola. Bien, tell me, tell me. I finished. Ok, excellent. Yes. Congratulations. Also, right? Uh, also may my... I tell you? Yes, you can share us if you want. Ok. In my case, we are divided in five groups mm -hmm. is the administrative groomer driver doctor and the boss uh -huh. so uh, administrative we are five and uh -huh. our schedule well all the veterinary the schedule is from 8 a.m to 6 30 p.m uh -huh. so in administrative, we are receptionists and we we attend the customers too and mm -hmm. attend the calls and the messages and WhatsApp. So oh. it's, uh, it's a complete work. And so, the, uh -huh. in the groomer area, uh, there are persons that, there are people, sorry, mm -hmm. that 
cut the hair of the pets and other people shower the pets mm -hmm. and other people dry and brush the pets. I and the special, yeah, it's, it's a, a divided job and it's, it's nice. Yes, I, I, I hear you and it seems in some, in so interesting, right? It's like a spa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, is is that? It's a spa for pets. Okay, so it, it sounds nice for my pet also. <laughs> <laughs> I am at your order. Yes, okay. Okay, I mean you are so, so. and, <laughs> and we have a driver too. Okay. And he is in charge of to pick up the the pets in the in his house and uh, maybe delivery of food and delivery of pets pick up and leave okay so you give transportation also right yes it's it's delivery oh. for all you want yes that's <laughs> nice for the pets Qué gala que hubiera uno así para, la, para las personas. <risa> <risa> en serio, se ve, se ve bien relajante. <risa> ok, thank you yeah. so much. Excellent, good job. Somebody thank else? You. <risa> Somebody else wants to share? Me, teacher. Ok, perfect, Marixa, vamos. In my workplace, Luis is in charge of security from 6 a.m to 6 p.m. Okay. Then Carlos is in charge of security from 6 p.m. to to 6 a.m. the next day because it is a 24 hours area uh -huh. Uh -huh. and seven days a week. Uh -huh. Also, uh, Jackie is in charge of billing. Also, okay. Alex and I are in, are in charge uh the human resource oh, okay. and as well my partner israel is in charge of driving and trust transporting and uh -huh. the personal okay and finally and finally my my partner chris is in charge of cleaning during the morning shift therefore my partner sandra is in charge of cleaning the during the during the night during the night shift, shift. right okay perfect um, uh -huh. thank you okay <laughs> just that. that's just that okay that's it <laughs> yo pensé que iba a continuar Max. okay <laughs> thank you so much excellent job thank you so much excellent thank you muy bien utilizó las linking words también eso es muy bien vamos a ver quién más who else Who else wants to participate? Or victims? Me, teacher. Okay, perfect, Maria Jose. Go ahead. Okay. In my workplace, Baudilio is in charge of bring support okay. to all, all questions that the agent ha the agents have from mm -hmm. 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Then Isabella does. Okay. Uh, Patricia is a supervisor who is in charge of taking customers' callings in a complete shift from 6 a.m. to 30, 30 p.m. Then I do. Okay. Veronica is in charge of the cleaning the woman's bathroom in a morning shift from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. And Manuel is in church of helping to people parking <laughs> in the correct way every day from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. Okay, perfect. Excellent, Maria Jose. Excelente. Well done job. Congratulations. Clap for you also, right? Muy bien hecho. Excelente explicación. Y lo que, lo que, lo que veo es que copó bastante lo que es la estructura. Y eso es bueno, la práctica, ¿verdad? De lo que estamos aprendiendo. Muy bien. Felicitaciones. Somebody else? 
somebody else who wants to share it, guys. Okay, teacher. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Um, in my work, the the term trial sample in the morning is micro. Also, marker is change the leadership in the office at work. The change of the indicator for water consumption is early in the morning shift. And always we all do cleaning in the morning. Okay, finish. Okay, excellent. Good job, excelente. Lo bueno es que este, usted está ocupando la palabra chief in charge of, ¿verdad? Que es lo importante, que usted practique el vocabulario que hemos estado viendo. Felicitaciones a todos ustedes. Somebody else that wants to tell her or his schedule, partner's schedule? Guys, or I choose victims, right? Yes, teacher, victims. Yes, no. <laughs> okay, vamos a empezar a llamar a los chicos que no están conectados con cámara, okay? Vamos a ver. Cristina Beatriz, are you there? Okay, Rachel Campos, are you there? Vamos a ver, somebody else. Ah, ok. Ana Victoria está ahí oyente porque no es, estaba en otra actividad, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, Daniel Abrego Brizuela. Are you there? Daniel. Uh, hello. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Ajá, Daniel. You I want to prepare. share? Ok. I'm not prepared. Okay. You are not prepared yet. Uh, I'm not prepared. In this so moment. You need more time. Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So you have five minutes more. <laughs> Thank you no, so one, much. One, two minutes. One, two minutes. Okay, perfect. Vamos a ver, let's see who else. Eduardo Reyes. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. In my workplace, I'm in charge of the maintenance. Area from five in afternoon mm -hmm. until seven in the morning in writing chair. Okay. Alien is chairs in the maintenance area from seven in the morning until five in the afternoon. Sandra is in charge of the of the human resource area from seven in the morning. You want to fight in the afternoon. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Sí, pero Thank está súper bien este George. Me alegro, está muy bien empleado en la, en la estructura. Eso es bueno. Es lo que se Thank le pidió, you. es lo que se hizo, right? He's in charge of the maintenance area, right? From ta 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 ¿verdad? Serían los horarios. Muy bien. And... Eh, su otro compañero, o usted también creo que está encargado de la, del área de mantenimiento también, ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah, yeah. Lo único que cambiaba es el, el, el turno, ¿verdad? O las horas, el periodo de tiempo, que sería the shift in the afternoon, in the morning. Or sí, the porque, por ejemplo, hay días que yo estoy de día, hay días que estoy de noche. Ajá, so eh, you change por the ejemplo, shift. Correcto, vemos tres de noche que estamos rotando. Uh -huh. Y unos que están solo de día y así vamos variando. Sí, Pero así. siempre son rotativos. Sí, así veo, right? Por eso que lo veo a veces en la noche, así, este, también, ¿verdad? Trabajando en el área, sí. la vez pasada, porque lo vi que estaba trabajando en las cosas de las máquinas. Something like this. Me parece. Sí, a ver, hago la cámara porque como me tengo que meter en áreas donde hay bastante sí. agua. Por eso dejo bloqueado el teléfono en el taller. Sí, me imagino. Ha de ser un poquito difícil, right? Este, por los cambios no. de mañana, noche, de repente, como el cuerpo se acostumbra, right? Nos adaptamos. Ya se acostumbró. 
There is no time, yeah. right? Ah, okay. Yeah. Good, excellent. Thank you so much, Thank George. You. Excellent Thank job. Somebody else wants to share? Teacher, I read uh, the activity. I I can't try. Okay, perfect. You can try. Go ahead. Uh, in my in my company, Emmanuel is a chief ex executive uh -huh. officer. He works eight o'clock to oh, eight to four o'clock. Okay. That's it. And the administrator is Sonia. Okay. She works for eight hours. The same time. Then. Se le escucha cortado, Anita. Como que activa y desactiva el micrófono. Anna, I guess Anna have some problems with her audio, right? So we are going to wait here and fix that. Hi, teacher. Ah, okay, perfect. It's my teclado el problema. Ah, okay. So um, you, you want to continue? Okay, first. Yes. Go In ahead. The company there are um a sustainable sustainable agriculture technician. Mm -hmm. He is Wilfredo. He works only for 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 only four hours. For okay. four hours. Only for um, four hours. Yes. Uh -huh. um, the biologist. The biologist is Victoria. Mm -hmm. She works in the office or make a uh, home office sometimes. Okay. Um. And um, others. Um, it, um, she um, works in the file, making monitoring. Mm -hmm. And in this case, she works for 10 or 12 hours in the day. During the day, okay, perfect. Ah, during the day. Okay. <laughs> no, no worries, no worries. No se preocupen. Yes. Puede decir the, the whole day or puede decir during the day. No, no hay ningún problema. Okay. Okay, excellent, excellent job, congratulations. Así es. Thank you. Solo tratamos de incluir, he is in charge of, está encargado del de área de producción, ah, okay. el área de mantenimiento, y eso es eso. Okay, pero además está súper bien. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, somebody else? ¿Alguien más, chicos, que no haya participado? I tried this now. Okay, perfect. Go ahead, Daniel. Okay. Um, okay. I'm in charge of the inventory when the company where the work for the eight to five in the afternoon. My warehouse college Michael is in charge of the product product reception. Same the shipments and delivery the notes sent by the warehouse. Okay. As well as the order for preacher that arriving during the day. Mm -hmm. I am in charge charge of processing the wind system and the, I send them to my college with this inventory system. Okay. So that they can achieve them and pass them on to final review. Okay, excellent. So, Sola is college or colleague? Uh, colleague, sorry, colleague. Okay, perfect. Okay, excellent. Bien hecho, Daniel. Excelente trabajo. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Claps for you. Vamos. <laughs> Vamos, vaya, mira, hoy si me participaste. Ajá, a la fuerza. I'm sorry, <laughs> Ah, ayer no, ayer no, no asistí a la clase. No more miau miau. No more miau miau. No. Somebody, <laughs> thank you so much. Rachel, are you ready? Rachel. 
Okay, so we're going to stop here. Remember that it's important that you practice, guys. The most you practice, the most you learn. And especially when it's about talking about something because you stand your vocabulary words and that helps you to pass the line that I want to speak or I don't want to speak. And also you are going to be better at talking about your fluency, right? Okay, Alex, Alex, raise your hand. For Alexis, who raise your hand? Yes, uh, okay. teacher. No, uh, I. Okay, perfect. I. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, teacher, uh, una consulta. Este, yo de intentar. No sé, estoy solo aclaro o solo quiero aclarar unas dudas. Uh -huh. Estaba observando unas oraciones en la parte de la unidad 2 en el número 4. Uh -huh. en donde estaban como las preguntas estaba entonces eh, escuché que se tomaba is in church off o uh -huh. is church off tal tal cosa verdad uh -huh. o sea pero menciona a la persona is is church off y el el cómo se dice el área ah, que está encargado y el horario el área, ah ah el área no no la actividad o la actividad puede ser un área o puede ser una actividad en general usted decide si <coughs> perdón Si lo va a poner en específico o en general. Este, lo que sí tiene, mm. que, eh, eh, lo yeah, que, sí tiene yeah. que emplear, Alex, es esto. Luis is in charge of the cleaning department. Or maybe the cleaning in the building. In the morning shift. Or in the afternoon shift. Or in the evening shift. Or at night shift. Uh, is this this moment, right? Tiene que ir con ING. Uh -huh. not, not all the time. Because if it is a no, for, for example, limpieza, no, no, ¿verdad? Es okay. cleaning. Okay. Pero si es verbo, mm -hmm. esto solamente va a poner, eh, he is in charge of clean the department, eh, or he is in charge of clean the building. Él está encargado mm -hmm. de, de limpiar, ¿verdad? El edificio, o también puede utilizar limpieza. Cuando utilizamos limpieza, recuérdense que la ng uh -huh. form también funciona como nombre. En este caso, sí funcionaría como nombre. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, entiendo. He hecho unos, pero no sé si, como salieron, que yo estaba observando que dice que uno se guiara por medio de la página, o de la unidad 3 en la página 23. Uh -huh. Bueno, entendiéndose que era como un cuadro que aparece en la página 3 de la unidad 3. <risa> ajá, ajá, es, es este, este de acá. Ah, Ajá, ah, pero es que este como es un horario, sí, sí, sí. por ejemplo, este, este es el área de la tarde, el horario de la tarde, este es el horario de la mañana. Uh -huh. Solamente el shift está representando uh -huh. el horario, ¿verdad? Solamente que usted va a poner si es en la mañana o la noche, uh -huh. es lo que va a cambiar en cuanto a esto. De ahí la estructura es lo mismo. Y, y acá uh -huh. le voy a poner el nombre, si toda la persona uh -huh. a quien usted se refiere. Ok. Ok, okay. perfecto. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Somebody else? No more? Okay, we can pass on another activity, guys. And look okay, Alex hace termina la suya y luego nos comparte, okay? Vamos a ver, dice, describe a colleague's routine and the, at the workplace. Who interviews future employees in your company? List five activities you do in a regular day. Who interviews, who interviews future employees in your company? ¿Quién le hace las entrevistas, las futuras entrevistas? Bueno, las entrevistas a los futuros empleados en la compañía, en su compañía. I don't know. It is the hands are responsible. Ajá. Entonces usted va a decir, Iris is in charge to interviews future employees in my company. Ahí vamos a emplear lo que ya hemos aprendido previously, right? Judy or Lily or Carlos or eh, Jose is in charge of 
interviews future employees in our company. Ya ven, y ahí vamos armando la oración utilizando lo que hemos aprendido previamente con lo nuevo que estamos acá. Esa es la forma de respuesta que usted va a dar a esa pregunta. ¿Ok? Who's, who interviews future employees in your company, Diana Yamilet? Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, normal, uh, normalmente I use uh, a ad hoc. Uh -huh. The interview. The Entonces, se va a decir, ¿quién? ¿Quién es el encargado? My boss. My boss. My... I, I, I didn't get it. <laughs> What's the name? Perdón, que casi no se escucha. My boss, María Elena Hernández. Ah, ok. María, María is in charge of, repeat. María is in charge. María is in charge. Of. Of. Interviews future employees. Interview this future employees. In our company. In our company. Ok, excelente. Muy bien. Okay. Ahora bien, ahora bien. Vamos a ver. Freddy, who is in charge of interview future employees in your company? You are in charge of the interview. In my company, the, the charge is in charge interview is FDH. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. George, who is in charge of interview future employees in your company? George Alvaro, George. Okay, George. excellent. Okay. What, which George? Which George? Uh, okay, George Alberto Laines, you're right. George Alberto Laines Díaz. Y luego vamos con George Ernesto, right? Okay. Vamos, George. Repeat this. Who interviews future employees in your company? Or who is in charge to interview future employees in your company? I replace so my office. You are in charge. Oh, I in charge of this area's maintenance. Ah, so you are in, cha in charge of the maintenance department, right? Well, not the department. El area. El area, correct. Okay, the area. Okay, perfect. Excellent. ¿Y quién es el encargado de entrevistar a los chicos nuevos? Y es de recursos humanos. Ah, ok. Human Resource. So, a human resource representative. A human resource representative is in charge of interview future employees in our company. You can say that, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, perfect. So if you don't know the name, you can say human resource representative, un representante de recursos humanos está encargado de, de entrevistar a los chicos nuevos, ¿verdad? O a los empleados nuevos de la compañía. Muy bien, excellent. Who else? Vamos a ver, Maritza, who is in charge of interview future employees in your company? Mm -hmm. Well, I work at a security company mm -hmm. and I am part of uh, human resource. Mm -hmm. So I sometimes I am I am in charge of of ¿cómo sería? of interview, interview. Uh -huh. future interview employees. a new a new employees. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. So you are in charge in that way, right? That area, right? Okay, perfect. 
Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Somebody else wants to participate? No? Okay, so let's continue, guys. Listen and read the conversation, then practice with a partner. I need some volunteers that can read this short conversation, guys, in which they talk about something related with that, okay? Who wants to read it? I can teacher. Okay, Maria Jose, excellent. Who else? Who mm -hmm. else? A boy. I can. Okay, perfect. Please. Marcos. Okay. Okay, I will be sorry. Yeah. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished it. Interview some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some change in the shell food. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes. Yeah. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Res, um, the pronunciation. Res, yes. I, I rescheduled. I rescheduled some often tomorrow. I need to make some call in some minutes. I'll anyway hug about you. Use the usual, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet Jones. Okay, excellent. Vamos a ver. Let's repeat, guys. Potential. 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 Interviewing. 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 Okay, reschedule. 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 Okay, a uh, personnel. 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 Okay. Hay diferencia entre personal y personal, right? Personnel is the group that's Someone managed, right? Or is in charge of that group. This is the personnel. But when you are going to talk about things that are personal, for example, my personal information is another thing. It's about information of other person, right? If personnel, no, is the group that you are in charge of, right? Es el grupo de quien está encargado, ¿verdad? Tú o algo otra persona. Personal como el personal docente, personal administrativo, eh, personal de limpieza, etcétera, etcétera, ¿verdad? Que son grupos de personas manejados por o, o, o dirigidos por una persona más, ¿ok? That's the difference. It's ok, sure. tell me. The stuff about some change in that um, pronunciation. Which one? This one. Um, in the children, this one. Abajo de staff. This it. This one. Okay. Sí. Special. Special. Sí. Special. Y este es special. Es como reprogramar, verdad? Special. Como que yo lo reprogramé algún. Yo reprogramé algunos de ellos para mañana, dice. Reschedule. A schedule es programar o hacer un o cronograma o horario, ¿verdad? Y reschedule es reprogramar. ¿Ok? ¿Other question? ¿Somebody else wants to read it? Okay, perfect, Veronica. Vamos. Somebody else? Michael. Okay, Michael and Veronica. Vamos, Michael. Okay. okay. Yes, and good morning, Marco. How is your day going? Very good. I just 
finish interviewing some potential employees, then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. The schedule. I see. I thought some people in the receptions when I can. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Yes, the usual checking that the pers personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. Mm -hmm. I told ordering the inventory was Yanis yo. Okay, I thought so, como que están poniendo la lengua oh. entre los dientes. Oh. So, y soplando. So. I saw so. ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay, excellent. Muy bien. So, let's continue, guys. Esta es, nos vamos a quedar con esto, okay? Discuss the following questions. What kind of job does Marco have? What are some of these responsibilities? His, his responsibility. How similar are the activities they do with the ones that you do? Think about it and answer the questions and then we're going to discuss it, okay? You have five minutes, go ahead. Are you ready?
Teacher, tell me, did you finish? Yes, solo okay. que um, could you put the text one moment? Okay, perfect. Lo quito, teacher. Compartir pantalla. Ok, perfecto. No te había entendido. Sorry. <risa> Ahí está. No. Es que yo quería saber si podía poner el texto. Ah, this one. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, perfecto. Ahí está, gracias. You're welcome. Ah, pues hoy sí, finish, teacher. Finish. Okay, perfect. Vaya. Who wants to participate? Maritza, would you like to start? Okay. Okay, what kind of It's job teacher. does Marco have? Ah, dí dígame. No, no, disculpe, fue, es que como que tengo un retraso de internet, porque cuando le dije, le dije yo, ya estaba uh -huh. mencionando a la compañera. Ah, ok, vale, entonces, este, Maritza, responde. Pero no hay la... problema. Maritza, eh, responde la número uno. En la segunda uno. voy yo. Ok, en la segunda, perfect, pero... perfect, excelente. Vamos, Maritza. Ok, uh, as far as I know, uh, he is an interviewer. Ajá, so... He is the interviewer of new people or new employees, ah. right? Okay, excellent. Number two, Alex. Vamos, Alex. What are some of these responsibilities? Hola. What are some of these responsibilities? Of his responsibility. Checking that the personnel is ready um ordering the inventory. Uh-huh. Excellent. Muy bien. Number three. Who said number three? Volunteers? Guys? Okay, perfect. How similar are the activities they do with the ones that you do? They are different. So they are totally different. Ellos son totalmente diferentes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Muy bien, chicos. So we are going to stop here and I'm going to pass the list for a second time, right? So... For tomorrow, guys, you are going to construct, I, you are going to write what are your tasks at your workplace, okay? Eso me van a traer, ya preparado. ¿Cuáles son sus responsabilidades o las actividades que usted hace en su trabajo? Escritas, okay? Please, for tomorrow. Y luego vamos a hacer con eso otra actividad en grupo, okay? Vaya, voy a dejar de compartir y voy a buscar la lista, chicos, para poder pasar, pasarla por segunda vez. Solo denme un segundo, please, give me a second. And I'm going to ask you by your name. Please answer present or I'm here, please. Alex no Ramírez Salazar. 
Ana Raquel. Okay. Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Victoria Galán. Present teacher. Brandon Alexis Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Cristina Beatriz de Caravantes. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Ernesto Abrego Brizuela. Denise Alejandra. Excellent. Denise Alejandra Zuniga Aldana. Present. Thank you, Denise. Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Edith, Ed, Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Fredis Ricardo Landa Verde. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Alberto Lainez Díaz. Present, good night. Excellent. Jorge Ernest, Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present. Present, teacher. Thank you, George. Luis Eduardo Reyes. Present. Excellent. Maria Jose Escobar Portillo. Present. Thank you so much. Maritza Celina Aguilar Ramos. Present. Thank you, Maritza. Eh, Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla. Present, teacher. Excellent, Michael. Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Present. Thank you, Morelia. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Present teacher. Thank you, Nancy. O'Kelly de Jesús de Mestica Carranza. Y Verónica Lisset Portillo de Castro. Okay, guys. So, you have some questions about that. Bueno, este día ha sido como que más práctica, ¿verdad? Y solo aprender más vocabulario, right? It's not just grammar focus. But tomorrow we hope that we continue with that, right? Remember that most you get advanced in the level, so you tend to just talk about topics and try to develop your fluency. It is not just um, too much grammar, but it is most speaking, okay? For that reason, I motivate you, I invite you, invite you right? That you try, you try to speak in English, okay? Try at least two words, three words, and try to do the uh, try to give your opinion in topics in questions that the teachers do, because the purpose of these questions or these readings, right, are that you develop your fluids. Okay. So please promise that you are going to try, please. Okay, teacher. Okay, excellent. Bueno, ellos, ¿tienen alguna pregunta en cuanto a notas? ¿Ya hicieron las tareas? ¿Cómo vamos con las tareas? Sí, ok. Vamos bien, vamos más o menos. ¿Tienes algunas preguntas? Vamos Ok, Denise dice, estamos bien. Ok, vaya, entonces si no han hecho la tarea de la semana 2, por favor, hagamos la tarea. Recuerden que para esta semana tenemos el midterm, esperando pues que mañana el midterm ya esté listo, ¿verdad? Porque acuérdense que al final de la semana se debe de pasar lo que son las notas para el chequeo de SAFOR, ¿ok? En Zafor estaría checando sus notas de la segunda semana y tiene que estar ya preparado eso, ¿verdad? Por favor, tratemos de trabajar en un tiempecito libre que tengamos. El día de ahora, pues, desgraciadamente no puedo estar con cámara encendida, chicos, pues no hay energía y estoy con datos. Por eso es que me he privado de la cámara, ¿ok? Pues esperando que durara la carga y todo eso, ¿verdad? Con lo de la computadora. Pero el día de mañana, primeramente Dios, pues esperemos que no haya ningún suceso como este, ¿ok? Bueno, entonces, si no hay más preguntas, chicos. Ok. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Thank bye, you so bye. much, guys. And I'm going to try to see you because it's a little bit hard. Bye, teacher. Ok. Bye. Have a nice dream, guys. And I see you tomorrow. Bye-bye and take care. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Everyone. Have a nice dream, guys. And I see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a nice rest.
Thank bye you, bye. teacher. See you, Daniel. Bye. Thank you so much.